Now, it sounds obvious, but the windows are the focus for this project. They allow people on the outside to connect with people on the inside. We wanted people to look at COS. So as it's the London Festival of Architecture, we first looked at the external facade of the building. We wanted to challenge people's expectations of what they might see. So the idea is a simple one. It's one of patterns, perspective and movement. We wanted to animate the typically static display zone. We wanted to create a three-dimensional performance that subtly invades the peripheral vision of the people moving past the window. If you were to look at the window from the street, you can see a clear pattern of squares in the upper section of the ground floor. So we've used these squares to break down the large window into small pixels. Our 3D pixels are spread out to line up with the window panes above. This spacing gives us transparency and depth. It allows people to see past the pixels into the shop interior and to see the products on display. So how are we using the boxes? Well, each box has four faces. Each face gave us the ability to display a different message. This is where the architectural idea has combined with the advertising objectives of COS. Not only have we tried to create an installation that attracts attention, albeit in an abstract way, we've had to get a certain message across. A message of the sale, a 30% and a 50% sale. And this message can be read at different scales. Up close, you can see the number 30 on one of the faces of the boxes. If you step back and view all of these faces together, a giant number 30 will become visible. So, onto the legacy of our contraption. We've already talked about running this display beyond the LFA. The Tate Modern have already been on the phone to see if they can borrow it for their next exhibition. But seriously, who knows? I think there's more life in it yet and I'd like to see it reused. So let's just hope the motor doesn't burn out.